President Uhuru Kenyatta today commissioned the 4.2 kilometer access road connecting the Nairobi Inland Container Depot and the Southern Bypass. The President, who was accompanied by former Prime Minister Raila Odinga on a tour of different projects, affirmed the government's commitment to not only decongest Nairobi, but also to enhance service delivery within the city. Laura Otieno reports. With tough measures to help curb the spread of COVID-19, President Kenyatta's tour was a closely guarded secret with only a limited number of officials accompanying him. The president, who was accompanied by former Prime Minister Raila Odinga, toured various projects launching the success road to the inland container depot. All traffic now moving from ICD will be able to go through seamlessly and a proper connection between Mombasa Road and the bypass, and that is why this road was uh, built. On his part, former Prime Minister Raila Odinga, who doubles up as the AU envoy for infrastructural development, expressed his satisfaction on the completion of the project, loading the government for beefing up on infrastructural projects. Jia ya kufungwa inchi na kuleta maendeleo, sema number one, infrastructure, number two, infrastructure, number three, infrastructure. The duo also launched the 48-kilometer Ngongki Seria Nisenya Road and the 43-kilometer Kajiado Imaroro Roads, which are the first in the country to be constructed under the public-private partnership program at a total cost of 7.8 billion shillings. Unaweza kutoka loi tok tok, ukuje, kupitia barabara hii, mpaka Isinya, mpaka Gong Town, na hatimaye uende mpaka suswa uungane na ile barabara ingine sasa ambaye inaelekea na rock town na mnajua ya kwamba pia tumetengeneza hiyo barabara ambaye inatupeleka mpaka eh, 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 mara gate barabara ya kuingia masai mara Excellency, this is the first annuity road ever done not just in kenya but actually in the entire region GOK is not borrowing a single penny. This is money which has been invested by the private sector. But it will have a very big impact in terms of development of this area. Earlier, President Kenyatta and the former PM toured the Green Park bus terminus in Nairobi, which is being constructed by the Nairobi Metropolitan Services. The president, who was conducted on the tour by the NSA, for Transport and Public Works, engineer Michael Lucheng officially opened a new level 2 hospital at the ultra-modern terminus. The new terminus, which is 90% complete, will accommodate other modern amenities, including a restaurant, a supermarket, and a police station. Laura Otieno, Citizen TV.